The King James Bible, the Book of Judges, Chapter 1. Now after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanite first to fight against them? And the Lord said, Judas shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. And Judas said unto Simeon his brother, Come up with me unto my lot, that, it, that we may fight against the Canaanites. And I likewise will go with thee unto thy lot. So Simeon went with him. And Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their land, hand. And they sh slew them in Bezrak ten thousand men. And they found Adoni Bezak in Bezak, and they fought against him. And they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And Adoni Bezak fled, and they pursued after him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adoni Bezak said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table, as I have done. So God hath requited me. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Now the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem, and had taken it, and smitten it with the edge of the sword, and set the city on fire. And afterward the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites that dwelt in the mountain, and in the south, and in the valley. And Judah went against the Canaanites that dwelt in Hebron. Now the name of, the, of Hebron before was Kerja Arba, and they slew Sheshai, and Ahiman, and Talmai. And from thence he went against the inhabitants of Debir. And the name of Debir before was Kerjath Zephyr. And Caleb said that he that smiteth Kerjath Ker suffer and taketh it to him I will give Ash Asha my daughter to wife. And Othniel the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him Ashna his daughter to wife. And it came to pass when she came to him that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wilt thou? And she said unto him, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And Caleb gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. And the children of the Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, went up out of the city of the palm trees for the children of Judah into the wilderness of Judah, which lieth in the south of Arad. And they went and dwelt among the people. And Judah went with Simeon his brother, and they slew the Canaanites that inhabited Zephath, and utterly destroyed it, and the name of the city was called Hormah. Also Judah took Gaza with the coast thereof, and Asklon with the coast thereof, and Ekron with the coast thereof. And the Lord was with Judah, and he drove out the inhabitants of the mountain, but could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. And they gave Hebron unto Caleb, as Moses said, and he expelled thence the three sons of Anak. And the children of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites that inhabited Jerusalem, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem unto this day. And the house of Joseph, they also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. And the house of Joseph went to de describe Bethel. Now the name of the city before was Luz. And the spies saw a man come forth out of the city, and they said unto him, Shew us, we pray thee, the entrance into the city, that we will shew thee mercy. And when he shewed them the entrance into the city, they smote the city with the edge of the sword. But they let the man... They let go of the man and all his family. And the man went unto the land of the Hittites and built the city and called the name thereof Luz, which is the name of the city, name of thereof unto this day. Neither did Manesh drive out the inhabitants of Bethshan and her towns, nor Tanash and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Iblim and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Megiddo, and her town, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. And it came to pass, when Israel was strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, and did not utterly drive them out. Neither did Ephraim drive out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezar, but the Canaanites dwelt in Gezar among them. Neither did Zebulun drive out the inhabitants of Kitron, nor the inhabitants of Nahalal, 
nor but the Canaanites dwelt among them because of tributaries. Neither did Asher drive out the inhabitants of Acho, nor the inhabitants of Zidon, nor of Halab, nor of Ashzib, nor of Helba, nor of Aphek, nor of Rehob. Rehob. But the Asherites dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath, but he dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemath and Beth Anath became tributaries un un unto them. And the Amorites forced the children of Dan into the mountain, for they would not suffer them to come down to the valley. And the Amorites would dwell on Mount Hears in Ajlon and in Shelblom. Yet the hand of the house of Joseph prevailed, so that they became tributaries, and the coast of the Amorites was from going up to Acrabibim from the rock and upward. Chapter 2 And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Boshim and said, I made you go up out of Egypt and have brought you into this land, which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. And yet ye make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as your thorns in your sides, and their God shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass, when the angel of the Lord spake these words unto the children of Israel, that the people lifted up their voice and wept. And they called the name of the place Boshim, and they sacrificed there unto the Lord. And when Joshua had let the let had let the people go, and the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land, and the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that outlived out Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of the inheritance of Timah, Harris, in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gash. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and be and served Belim. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, and the gods of the people that were around about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, and the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a-whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. And when the Lord raised them up judges, then the Lord was was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge, for it repented in... For it repented the Lord because of the groanings by the reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers in following other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them. They ceased not from their own doings nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, Because that this people hath transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice. I also will not henceforth drive out any before them from uh, of before them of the nations which Joshua le left when he died. 
that through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein as their fathers did keep it or not. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered them unto the hand of Joshua, 